A family seeking justice in a veteran's death will have to wait until at least next week in order to see if the officer who shot him is found guilty of murder. Jurors say they're deadlocked on some of the six counts Robert Olson faces in Anthony Hill's death. 11 Alive's Jennifer Bellamy was at the courthouse today, but unlike other days, we did not hear much from the jury. Day five saw no real questions from the jurors aside from a request for a lunch break. In fact, we never really saw the jury until they were preparing to be dismissed. Instead, they continued their deliberations until about 3.30 when they stopped because of a juror who had to go to the airport for a pre-approved work trip. Now, yesterday, there was some discussion about possibly giving jurors the Allen charge, encouraging them to dig deeper and try and find a consensus among themselves. That did not happen, though. Prosecutors told the judge that they were fine with the jury continuing to work as they had been for the last few days. That was the first thing to happen this morning. We asked our 11 Alive legal analyst Latonia Hines about the Allen charge and next steps going forward. Usually with the Allen charge, it has to do with, you know, they're just not able to make a verdict at all. They obviously were able to come to a unanimous decision about some of the charges. And so maybe we're not at that point yet. I think if the jurors come back, see, I think the magic words have not necessarily been spoken yet from the jury where they say we just can't do it. We're, we're not able to make a decision. Jurors are expected to return to begin their deliberations once again on Monday at 9 a.m.